Half a second warning that another mortar attack is beginning at Ben Hecht. The whistling sound and bang of the first mortars is the cue for everyone to get to cover again and fire. So much firepower there is like 4th of July. You can't even hear yourself breathe, think. The stench, body odor. Something that you don't want to deal with. But if you never prayed before, you'll pray when you've been in Vietnam. Cut off ears, cut off heads, taped wires from portable telephones to human genitals and turned up Some people power. call us baby killers when we coming home, you know, and they just don't know what the other side of the world is. If you've never been there, you can't talk about it. My mission, I was a paramedic. I was on the Huey as a paramedic. I would just only come in to get the wounded, pick them up, take them out. Some of that affected me when I seen a person in front of my face no more than a foot away from me exploded. And all that was left was just his head. And I found a hand. That was it. Been scared ever since. I woke up one night and I was asleep. She was asleep. And I woke up strangling her. And you know, she just kept calling my name. Calm, calm, it's me, it's me, it's me. I had a choice. I've been married for 33 years. I didn't want to lose my wife, and that's the only thing I have. The only person I have, her and God, that's it. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here today, so. I'm gonna tell you, you don't know how it feel not to take a bath for three weeks. You're pulling ticks off your ass. You can learn how to set in water for 24 hours. You're pulling shoes off a dead man, for you can have some shoes on your feet. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, just pray for the veterans today or even from yesterday. They know the ones that have the killer instinct.